us is why we have a toilet paper shortage today. Ooh. Because the Egyptians would wrap the dead people in toilet paper. Any questions? Mummies. Hey, Tony, you want to know the real reason why there's a toilet paper shortage? Because your mom's so fat, her big butt needs all the toilet paper to wipe it when she poops. Oh, shut up. Dude, shut up, Junior. Yeah, shut up, Junior. You have mummy issues. You love your mummy. <laughs> I don't have a mom. You don't have a mom either, Junior. Make fun of his dad. I'll see you in fifteen minutes. Free food! Free food! You have a lunch room? We've never been to lunch before. Yeah, I get to run your lunch like a weird kid. I'm not hungry. Hey dad, how's it going? Can I please get a That looks like refried beans? Cheeseburger. I got your cheeseburger right here. Me slot surprise, enjoy. Thank you. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, well, I got something to fill your belly. Me slot surprise. Thank you. Uh, do you have anything kosher? Kosher? I don't know what that is, but I got some meat slot surprise for you. Okay, thank you. What are your vegan options? <laughs> you kids and your jokes. You never fail to crack me up. Yeah. It's a meat slot surprise. I can't eat meat. Don't you dare disrespect my meat slot surprise again. Get out of my face. Uh, what is this? Is this even edible? I am not eating this. Come on, guys. Who doesn't love meat slot surprise? It's actually pretty good after you throw up in your mouth a few times. Well, Ew. I it in my mouth once and it's still gross. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go back to class. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> well, hello there. Oh, hey there, handsome. What can I do for you? I want some of that. Really? You want some of my meat slot surprise? Yeah, it looks yummy. You know what? For use, I'm gonna give you two scoops. Okay. With extra loving. Mm. You enjoy that now, sweetheart. Oh, it looks yummy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now that's a handsome man. I think I'm in love. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Today at school, the lunch lady made meat slop surprise. What's meat slop surprise? Oh, I brought some home. I'll show you. Right here, Daddy. Ew, Jimmy, that looks gross. Well, it looks the same going in as it does coming out. It looks like oh, we've beans. Let me see it. Oh, my God, Jimmy, that's awful. But it tastes amazing. You should try some. But no, I'm, I'm going to call the school and complain. They should not be serving our kids this kind of food. They should be serving healthy stuff. Oh, let me get my phone. But this is good. All right, I'm calling the school. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. May I please speak to the lunch lady? You're speaking to us. Oh, wow. You have a very deep voice for a lunch lady. Thank you. I get it from my dad and two packs a day. Well, I'm calling because my son, Jeffy... <laughs> Shut up, Jeffy. Stop it. He brought home meat slop surprise. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Well, I think it's very gross and repulsive, and I think you should make something different. In all my 20 years of cooking, I ain't never had nobody complain about my meat slop surprise. Well, that's, <laughs> that's very crazy to hear because I think it's gross, and I think everyone... I never have anyone complain about my meat slop surprise. I don't know how to make, so back off, Bob. Well, I think you should learn how to cook, you not knowing how to cook her. <gasps> Marvin! because I actually want a future and a career. <gasps> Marvin! Well, she was just very mean and gross, and I think she should learn how to cook. Well, I think you she's cute. Lunch lady, she's a nice lady. She's not a nice lady, and she should not know how to cook. Well, you're ugly. Well, uh, throw this away. That was really mean what my daddy said to that lunch lady. I'm going to call her and apologize. Hello. Hey, this is the kid in the yellow shirt from lunch today that really likes your cooking. Oh, hey there, sweetheart. Yeah, I want oh, to don't be sad. Because I heard what my daddy said to you on the phone, and I thought it was really mean. But your cooking's really, really yummy. You really think so? Yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Man, I love that kid. And that cross mm. is why pyramids are shaped like triangles. Woo, I love circles, pyramids. They would roll away. Any questions, Cross? Free food! Oh no, it's lunchtime again. It's a good thing we brought our lunch today. All right, Cross, you know what the bell means. Time to go to lunch again. Yay! Lunchtime again! Come on, arms! I'm still not hungry. Idiot. Hey there, hot mama. What's on the menu today? Hopefully it's you. Sorry, sweetheart, I'm taken by a beautiful man in a yellow shirt and a blue helmet. Good ones are always taken. Yeah, sorry about that, but here's your meat slop surprise. Sam. Ooh, thank you. What's cooking good looking? Oh, there he is. My big handsome man. What's on your menu today? I got something extra 
special for you. Meat slot surprise. Sandwich double scoop. Mm. Made with extra love. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna be mine someday. I just can't stand it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm so glad I brought a Lunchable today. Me too. You guys are really missing out on this meat slot surprise sandwich. I mean, the bread really stops you from throwing up. The fact that it even makes you want to throw up means it's bad. Well, not everybody's mm -hmm. privileged like you, Cody. We can't just bring Lunchables to school every day. Yeah, like this. <sighs> sweet cheeks. How's that meat slot surprise tweetness? Oh, it's really good. Really? You know, I love me a man that can appreciate my cooking. You truly are something special. Uh-huh. Alright, I'll see you later, baby. Alright. Alright, crap. I hope everyone enjoyed our lunch. So everyone get out a piece of paper and start taking notes. <coughs> hey there, sorry for interrupting, but I got a letter for Jeffy. Okay, make it quick. I'm trying to teach a class here. Here you go, Jeffy's. I wrote you something special. Don't show no bodies. Okay. I'll see you later, my love. Oh, no. What do you say? <gasps> I can't read. Give me that. No, give it back. Hey, hey, everybody. Jeffy has a love letter from the lunch lady. Give it back. It says, Dear Jeffy, I love you more than meat slop surprise. Love Muriel. And then she kissed it with her butthole. <laughs> Idiot. She wrote you a letter? Mm hmm Dear Jeffy, I love you more than meat slop surprise. Love, Muriel. Who's Muriel? The lunch lady. What the lunch lady, Jeffy? The lunch lady can't be writing you love letters. Jeffy, that's sick. She's like 80 years old. Well, you know what this is, Danny? That's what we like to call a scratch and sniff. <sighs> yep, smells like straight ass. Jeffy, you cannot date the lunch lady. This is sick. She should go to jail for this. But she makes me good food, Danny. I'll get it. Wait, no, Jeffy, someone else says uh, We have to yell at you about this stupid letter because this is wrong. Uh, hello? <gasps> oh my god! She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen! Oh, those big, beautiful lips. Oh, that chin hair. And that big, beautiful mole. I wonder what it tastes like. <sniffs> I gotta have her. Uh, hey, baby, uh, what are you doing here? Is my man Jeffy here? Uh, Jeffy? Yeah, he's here, but what do you need with him? He's my boyfriend. Wait, your boyfriend? Wait, he, he's taking this hot piece of ass? Sure is. Oh, lose the zero and get with a hero, baby. Come on, I'm a real man. I would never disrespect my Jeffy like that. Well, what does he have that I don't have? <laughs> he loves my meat slop surprise. <laughs> <laughs> if it's what I think it is, then I love it too, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what all men say. Now move. Oh. Dang, she's a freak. I need that in my life. All right, Jeffy, promise me that if you hear from this lunch lady ever again, you have to call us immediately, okay? Okay, Daddy. Hey there, Jeffy. Your baby's here. Hey. What? No, stay away from our son. We do not like you. Yeah, you're like 80 years old. Hey, I'm not a day over 60, and I'm in love. The older the berry, the sweeter the juice. Stop it. Look, I'm gonna call the cops and have them settle this. Well, they can't stop true love. Hey there, someone call the cops? Yes, officer. This lunch lady's trying to date my son. Oh, no. Uh, Marvin, can I talk to you? What's wrong? That's one of my ex-girlfriends. She's one of your ex-girlfriends? How old is she? She's like 40, but the years have not been kind to her. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Brooklyn Four Fingers guy? Hey, Muriel. Hey there, Brookie. I see you came crawling back to me. What? No, look, it was college, it was dark, I was drunk, and I thought the mole on her face was a nipple. I swear, hand to God. Yeah, well, it don't matter no ways, because I broke up with him. But no, it was the other way around. I broke up with her. Oh, yeah? Then why do I have voicemails on my phone of you crying, begging me to come back? Hey, delete those. Well, look, officer, look, she wrote this creepy letter to my son. We don't like it, and we want a restraining order against her. Yeah, I used to get love letters with that print on them all the time. Okay, look, Muriel, I'm writing restraining order against you for Jeffy. You're not allowed within 100 feet of him. You can't stop our love! Oh, the law can absolutely stop your love because your love is icky, okay? So you're not allowed to come within 100 feet of him. Nope. Too late. Jesus Christ, just get out of here before I arrest you! <laughs> Fire! 
Thank you so much. <gasps> Idiot. Idiot. Do it, Chef BB. So I set up the perfect date, and then I call her pretending to be Jeffy, and then she comes over, she sees me, and then we fall in love. <laughs> Let me call her. Who is ringing? Hello? Uh, hey there. <laughs> Jeffy, is that you? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's hilarious. I'm so sorry that we can't be together. But I set up the perfect date, you should come over. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh my God! I can't believe my Jeffy set up the most beautiful date, and he made me slump surprise. Oh, I'm gonna have to marry him. Hey, baby. What the? You're not my Jeffy. You're right. I'm better. I'll have you know, I'm waiting for my Jeffy, and he made me the most perfect meat slump surprise. <laughs> Oh, no, he didn't, baby. See, the thing is, I made it. You know how to make me come surprise? Oh, it's my specialty, baby. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, why don't you come over here and get some of this meat slop surprise, big boy? Oh, don't make me bad for it. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't you ever leave me, baby. Sorry, sweet cheeks, but I'm gonna have to. Why? Well, you see, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. How do you think I got this smell? <laughs> Chef Phoebe, what I just witnessed will scar me for the rest of my life. <laughs>